it's time for another mailbag. Let's check it out. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Very important, especially as I've moved the channel. Well, move these onto the new channel. What's this? It appears to be some boxes. Very similar to ones I've already got, actually. So I've got some boxes before, and these look, well, basically identical, just a rougher surface finish. I bought a few different ones thinking I might just try a different one to see what works. What well, turns out these are identical as the ones I've already got, which I showed in a previous mailbag. So I won't go into too much to the detail about these, but nice aluminium boxes. Um, obviously end panels that go on them. This end panel compared to the other one. Not as nice. This one's got rounded corners on it. This one's got round, rounded and profiled. This one's just got a straight edge. Got a hard corner on there. So the quality of this one's not quite as nice as the first one I got. So they look identical, but they're just not quite as good. I, mean, I don't know if you can see on these corners here. Can you see it's got a hard corner there instead of a rounded corner? So they stick out a little bit. Yeah. See that? So not quite as nice. So the first slot was slightly better, but that's not much, is it? It's one of these little details I'm being niggly about. But yeah, they're really closely with the other ones, so this quality is not quite as good. But still not bad. So I had got these originally for my voltage divider project, which I've got sitting here. I think this box is actually a little bit small now, as it turns out, because now I've got to squeeze some batteries in there as well, and that's like, eh, might be able to get in there, but it would be tight. So I'm not quite sure I'm going to use that design now. I might get a different box and uh, just make it get a slightly bigger box, which will do the job. So it's not I'm just trying to squeeze it all in. Anyway, big links for these down below. So if you're new here, new to the channel and never seen me before, you may think this channel is a bit empty. That's because I've moved my mailbag videos from my main channel into this new separate channel. So if you interest in electronics like that, make sure you go and check out my main channel as well, there'll be links for it. If you go to the main page of this YouTube channel, there'll be links to the main channel from there. Because obviously I'll do lots of electronics and repairs and stuff like that as well. This is just my mailbag side of things. Alright, so this is a power supply obviously. I see to the wrong cable, but never mind. And this is a 5 volt 10 amp brick. Center positive, so yay. You always want center positive. So it's rated at 10 amps, so can it really do 10 amps? Oh, I don't know, it feels pretty substantial. 5 volts. I forgot what I bought this for now. Yeah, I bought it for something, I don't know what. Mm. My mailbag videos, I've got loads of them on my other channel, and I've got a playlist down the bottom of the main page on this channel, which you'll see on the main page if you go to the main one. That links to the mailbags on the main channel, all the ones I've recorded previously. Loads and loads of them, there's hundreds of them. So. Basically starting again on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you've not been here before. Very important. At least for me. Right. Hmm. What on earth is this? SATA HDD or SSD shield. 5 volt 4 amp. Ah! Hold on. Is that what I bought this for? <laughs> it might be, actually. Hold on. We've got some bits in here, cables, it's a USB is it? Yep, USB micro to USB cable, JST connector, standoffs, USB 3 cable, USB jumper, I think it's for my, well one of my projects I've been doing, you should have seen me doing for the past well, year basically, because I did a Raspberry Pi web server, I did a videos on that, so if you haven't actually seen those Raspberry Pi web server videos then Go and check those out as a playlist for my link, or something like that, anyway, So this is like a power board, and the SSD or whatever, well, yeah, it's going to be SSD, goes on this board here, you mount it on here with mounting holes, it's got some standoffs on there as well, it's quite nice. Then you supply power to this board through this jack, and you've got a 5 volt out from this cable, which is USB 3, and you've got another USB port over here, USB 3 port, some kind of controller, I can't see what that is. Auto off, auto on, don't know what that does. On off button, it's a 5 volt jack there which has got like a blank in it is it? 
some other jacks here, which you got blanks on, cover them up. So this is basically a, a module I purchased from AliExpress for, for my Raspberry Pi, for my, for my web server. Because right now it's using an SD card, which, well, SD cards are okay to a point. One day it would have suddenly just failed, like that, and the server goes down. And it's gone. So I'm not happy with that. So what I want to do is put the Raspberry Pi into a nice metal case like this, make it a bit more robust. Let's open this up and have a look inside. There's something inside there, I'm not sure what it is. Let's have a look. I just want to make this Raspberry Pi web server more robust instead of relying on an SD card. Because, you know, they're okay for a while, but they will eventually fail. And it will cause a bit of a catastrophe when it does, because it's a system which has to be relied upon. In my case, at least. It's a very important little web server. I wanted to use Raspberry Pi instead of a standalone computer, because the Raspberry Pi actually behaves a little bit better, believe it or not. A standalone computer, I've been finding that like, it tends to freeze and all this like, lock up for could be you know, 10, 20 seconds and stop responding, then it'll catch up. But the Raspberry Pi has not been doing that. So a little mini calling fan. On off switch. Is that momentary or a latchy? I'm not sure. Looks like it's a momentary on off switch. And some more mounting hardware type stuff will be for the fan and things like that I suppose. So that goes through this hole here. They get bolted on somehow. So yeah, the idea is you put a Raspberry Pi. This is for the uh, Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, is it? I can't remember the model. So I've got to figure this out. There's no instructions, so I'm going to have to sort of stumble my way through it. Auto off, auto on. So it means when your power turns on, it automatically boots up the drive and everything. Power switch there. Does that mean that's optional? Maybe I don't have to use it? I don't know. So that's a 5 volt output, which I'm guessing will go for the fan. This is a 12 volt fan. Hmm. It will go slower. Here you go, it's a close look at the ball. Can you see what that chip is in the middle? That's about as close as I can get, like this. There you go. ASM, is it? 1153E, is what it's like. Probably. Anyway. So that's good. I need to get onto this little project and get this built as soon as I can, actually. Get an SSD set up and uh, and make a new Raspberry Pi web server because I do have a spare Raspberry Pi around here somewhere actually I'm not quite sure where it is and I'll basically make a new web server from scratch and copy the files over from the existing one so then I'll use that existing one as a backup server and make this one the new one and um, and on the box here RaspberryPiWiki.com index PHP X 820. So obviously the instructions are online for how to do this instead of having them printed out. I suppose that's alright. Check the other box, does that say the same thing? It basically does, yes. So this requires a 4 amp input power, so that's probably why I bought this brick. Or will actually power this thing. So that's quite good, it's actually arrived at the same time, really. The X820 version 3 by Geekworm. Geek Geekworm. Worm. <laughs> and there's the case. So cool. So. Instructions are there, great. That solves that problem. Oh, I see what's in the big box. I think I know, actually. Based on the box itself. Got an idea. Yeah, it is. It's some more Pomona parts. So these are, I suppose, sponsorship items. Um, Pomona's given these to me at no cost. Thank you very much for that, Pomona. Slash fluke. Fluke your own Pomona. And these are just some... High voltage, well, just some. These are some high voltage banana jacks. These are quite nice. So it's the same as these ones here. These are the ones they already sent me already. These two colours. I was waiting for the third colour to turn up. And that's those. So I've now got the black ones to go on as well now. So I can go on here. Let's open one up actually. I'll be doing this project properly at some point in the future. Or in the past, me how I managed to sequence these videos. This goes on there. So that's actually like a sandwich. So you have a hole in the ball which is that size there. And you sandwich it with that, then you shove that through here, and then you stick a washer on or something like that, and stick a nut on. Now, interestingly, when I purchased, well, I didn't purchase these, <laughs> they're given, given to me obviously at no cost, as I say. One of them has got one nut in it, yeah, and uh, was it the blue ones? I think only came with one nut, but the red and the black came with two nuts. So I found that quite interesting. Don't know why there's a difference. I checked all the bags, all, all the bags of the blue ones are the same. So I don't know if it's meant to be that way or if it's something else, I really don't know, but one nut's enough anyway, it's all I need anyway. 
So once it's in, in place, it'll just be bolted down to the board like that, secured down. And that's then ready for that board. This is obviously before I put it into a case. When you put it into a case, I've obviously got to build it into the case properly. Um, but for me, I'm not sure this case is going to be big enough at this point. And I've got to try and get two batteries in it as well, two 18650s. It's a bit tight, so I think I need a different case before I do that. But yeah, watch out for that. This is my voltage divider project. I've done some videos on this already. This one's much more precise than the previous vision. I did like a very, I did a passive voltage divider first, the very first one I did, which is very easy to build using common components. It will give you pretty close with reasonable accuracy, not too bad at all. This one is even better, and I do plan to do more after that, but we'll get onto those. So thanks for Mona for those parts. A whole bunch more of those, so excellent. I think I need to shove my ram knife. Oh look, it's a bag inside a bag. Because that's always fun, yeah. And it's another bag. Wow. Seriously? Uh, I ordered these ages ago. I think I actually got replacements already. Because they went missing. This can't be right, surely. I don't think I bought more. These might be active sounders then. These are some circuitry in there. So these are active sounders. So I've used these in my project. Which I've featured the FarmTech interface project. Yeah, I had a bunch of these. I ordered them and they never turned up. And now they've turned up. That was ages ago. That was like 10 months ago. Wow. That's, hey, they turned up in the end, but I've already bought more. <sighs> That's odd. Okay, last thing for today. Ah, okay. This is a speaker assembly for a MacBook Pro either, I'm not sure which one it is. There's two possibilities here actually. It's either the 2011 or the 2009 version. And to be honest, I don't know offhand which one it is. Because I bought two. I bought one by mistake and I was actually it's the wrong year I need to buy the other year. So then I bought purchased that one. But yeah, the bit links for them below, I think, maybe for these. This is AliExpress, so obviously a salvaged part. But um, nothing wrong with salvaged, as long as it's in good condition. It looks like it is. So that's excellent. It's from my dad's laptop. He blew the speakers up because he, um, he had the thing running at high volume for a long time. Well, at least I hope it's the speakers. It sounds like the speakers because it's distorted and crackly, so I think it's blown the speaker on it. And so I decided just to buy some new ones and have done with it. Well, some new old ones. Don't make sure you remember to subscribe to this channel because say this is a new channel now, starting from scratch and needs all the help you can get. So subscribe, click the bell icon if you can. I've been seeing messages about being flagged as made for kids. If you get that, please let me know because it isn't made for kids. This channel is made for adults. There's nothing kids here. So even though I've got the flag set per video as not for kids and also for the channel itself as not for kids, it's been flagging that. So if you see that message, let me know. Put it in the comments down below. Uh, if you've got anything to say about any of this gear or any experience of these sorts of things, let me know. Have a check down below in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later. Bye.